What is going on everybody? My name is JLX Victory and I am bringing you guys another team of the season player review. And actually this might be one of my last team of the season player reviews. Not because I don't enjoy them, but simply because there are no more team of the seasons that should be released. I don't know, EA might pull something on us and release some more cards, but as I'm expecting and as a lot of other people are expecting, there should be no more team of the seasons, seasons released. Uh, the rest of the world should have been the last one released and the Liga goes out of packs tomorrow which is Wednesday. So. That does not mean that I'm not going to continue doing these player reviews. If you guys want me to continue to review these team of the season players, I will definitely do that for you guys because I know I've gained a lot of new subscribers for these player reviews and you guys do enjoy watching them. Um, and just leave a player in the comment section down below and I'll definitely try my best to get my hands on those players because that is how I choose these players to review. Um, Whatever you guys want me to review, I'll do that. Just keep in mind, I have about 900k-ish. Just if you suggest a player, I'd like them to be under 500 to 600k. That should be the max. I'm going to blow a little bit of money on these packs for the World Cup mode upcoming because I think that should be a lot of fun. And if you guys want me to do videos on that, let me know also. Um, just let me know what you guys want to see from my channel within the next couple of weeks. I mean, I really enjoy making hybrid squad builders and I do enjoy making these player reviews because that's what my channel is kind of geared, geared towards. Uh, kind of giving you guys some FIFA knowledge and knowledge about the game. Um, I mean, obviously pink slips and pack openings are fun to watch and they're super entertaining. I watch them all the time myself. Um, but, <coughs> excuse me, I don't really have the coins for those um, those types of videos with the pink slips and like pink slipping Bale and Ronaldo and all of them. Uh, and obviously they're very entertaining, but I kind of want to give you guys some FIFA knowledge and you guys some, learn some stuff from my video. So today I'm going to be reviewing Moreno. Uh, there, there's my best Colombian accent on this guy's name, but Moreno is how I'm going to pronounce it. I'm going to butcher it the American way. Uh, this guy, 89 pace, 90 shooting. 89 dribbling and 78 passing and 72 heading for his kind of offensive stats and obviously people are going to be picking this guy up for his five star skill moves and honestly in my opinion he just seems to be a name on a list that is just dwindling down and down and down every single FIFA I don't know what it is it seems like there were so many on FIFA 12 and then FIFA 13 there was less and FIFA 14 there's e even lesser um, I just really enjoy pl playing with people with five star skill moves and this guy has it and he might not have it next year, he might have it next year, I'm not entirely sure, but definitely that what this guy has is 95 acceleration. This guy going off the ball is absolutely rapid. Some of the best acceleration that I've found in this game, and that is what I really do enjoy off of my skillers. Really high acceleration. Um, I like doing hitting a skill move and then uh, accelerating it out of that, and this guy can do that perfectly. So the skill moves are obviously going to be a selling point for this guy, um, and that was one thing that was my favorite part about this guy, but then again, one of the worst parts about this guy for me. Personally, I overdo the skill moves. <laughs> As you guys can tell, this skill run on the screen right now. I'm just doing way too many um, just because I can. Uh, I definitely think I'm a better skiller than I actually am. I would definitely consider myself an above average skiller, uh, but I'm no FIFA montage maker in in any way whatsoever. I've always wanted to make one. I actually might do that. Um, if you guys wanted to see that, please let me know. Um, but this guy, his skilling was very, very good because he has very good ball control and he has very good acceleration, which is very, very crucial for a good um, player with five-star skill moves, in my opinion. Um, he just fits the skilling set very, very well. What he does not fit is the striker. He is not a striker, guys, just to put that out there. Play him at that center forward or play him at the cam roll. Just he's nowhere worth near worth 100k for being a striker. I picked him up for 97. I think I'm selling him on right now for like 110-ish, 108. Uh, he's so he's a little bit above 100k on Xbox. I'm not sure what he is on PlayStation. But as a cam, uh, definitely pick him up for 100k. As a striker, don't. Cam slash center forward is where this guy fits. I mean, Colombia has so many great attackers. There might be they might be the nation with the best attackers in the game. Honestly, they have they have the likes of Muriel, Abarbo, Falcao, uh, Cuadrado. Uh, they also have I don't know James Rodriguez. They have this guy. So many great attackers on FIFA. And just the bad thing about Colombia is their defense. Um, so that's why you find a lot of Colombian slash Serious uh, hybrid squad builders. And I forgot Jackson Martinez too. What a great striker he is. Uh, so definitely put this guy as a cam behind, like, I don't know, Team of the Season Jackson Martinez and Abarbo seems pretty, pretty good in a 4 1 2 1 2 set. What else to talk about this guy? His shooting from outside the box was okay. Um, 
definitely he's he's definitely not a clinical finisher. I'll tell you guys that. It seemed like I was in a stretch of videos where almost every single player I review was very very good at finishing, and this guy does not have the best finishing. But from outside the box, he was occasionally able to score some goals. But this guy I definitely play him at the camp position. He is a playmaker. That is what he is. This guy's pros are his skill moves, his acceleration, and his dribbling. His cons were his finishing. This guy couldn't really finish in the box. I mean, he finished from time to time, but it wasn't that great. And then sometimes he was actually lost in game. I just couldn't really find where he was. He kind of disappeared. Uh, and then the league. He's not a popular league, but his nation is pretty popular with Columbia, so you should be able to fit him in squads. Overall rating, 6 out of 10 out of striker. At the cam, probably put him at an 8. Very, very good center attacking mid. But I am giving away a team of the season, Al Shamrani. I, would, that's, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I'll leave the video in the in the... I guess description below. All you have to do is leave your gamer tag on that video and just check the video out. That's where I explain it. I'll see you guys next time.